Hey everyone, good morning. It's Rita and her lively dog saying good morning. Hi guys, they're saying good morning, Teddy Bear and Benji. And this is as am I. Hello. Um, it is Monday. Cricket chat. Hi, David. Hi, Lisa and Dawn. It's Monday, uh, the last Monday of September 2020. It's going to be October soon. Um, and it is Monday, which means it is Mystery Material Monday. Um, and we're going to be talking about this stuff. Good morning. David said, good morning, Teddy Bear. Um, hi, Christy and, and Benji. Um, so we're going to be doing what's called a mystery material. It's uh, basically what mystery material is. Um, is something that we might find when we're going through our stash, our craft hoard, that we're not really sure what to do with. Um, and I have identified, oh, at least two dozen materials that could be classified as mystery materials. These are great products that Cricut has come out with for us to use with our machines, um, but that there isn't a whole lot of information out there on what to do with it, how to work with the material. Maybe you got this material in a mystery box, hence the mystery. Um, or maybe you just picked it up at a sale or at Joann's or Michael's and you didn't know, hmm, I wonder what this does. I think I'll take it home and it's sat on your shelf and you're not really sure what to do with it. So that's what we've dedicated Mondays to being Mystery Materials Monday. And today's Mystery Material is faux leather. I know it's not terribly mysterious because um, a lot of people, and we've done this product before. We did earrings that were actually ironed on. Yeah, we did earrings before, but this morning, actually, what I thought that I would do is show you a little bit of the um, new foil and how the foil works on faux leather. And here is an example that I just did this morning. So this color leather is copper. And if you got the mystery box the fall, finally fall mystery box, this is the... Um, this is the, okay, my dogs are, are play fighting over here, so they're throwing me off. Okay, so this is the copper that you're going to get in the Finally Fall Mystery Box. And what I did was I found this initial C and I put it on this piece of faux leather so I could show you. Um, I also did um, on this, on this, what is this called? Champagne, I think. Um, I did this butterfly. I'll get in real close. I'm not happy with what happened here and I'm going to explain, but see the, the purple that I used, which came from that extra pack, uh, foil transfer extra pack that has the green, purple, and blue. It wasn't the material, but rather the way that I put the foil on. So I'm going to show you. Um, you can't Sarah, um, okay, so let me, Sarah's saying she can't get this to cut on her air too. Well, you should be able to cut it. And if, and let me just show you on the Cricut page. Um, so this is Cricut. This is a shop and this is the faux leather pebbled. It's called, it's a 949 a roll and it appears that two, four, six, eight. They have 10 different colors. I myself have only one, two, three, four, six of those 10 right here. But, um, and so I'm missing like black and uh, what am I missing? Silver and peacock, but I have a blue. So I'm going to show you the blue today. So um, this is the faux leather. And if you notice by the faux leather, there's this picture and it will show you what the blades do, what each blades do for that material. So here down here, the third line is faux leather. And faux leather, can you can use the fine point blade or the deep point blade. Now, I have a maker, which might be the difference there, uh, Sarah. 
Yes, you can, Serena. You can cut this out on the joy. And we have done that before. Um, you won't be able to do the foil uh, transfer, but we've done HTV with the um, faux leather and it works like a dream. So that's another choice that you can do with faux leather. But because the foil thing is so new and everybody's, you know, asking questions, I thought that I would show the foil. But yes, this can be cut on the joy. So getting back to Sarah, um, Oh, very nice. Thanks, David. Um, so getting back to Sarah, if you have a Explore Air 2, this should cut on the fine point blade. Um, but you can also try the deep point blade for this as shown here. Fine point, fine point and deep point. These other blades like scoring wheel, wavy, deboss, etch, etching and perforation will not work with the Explore Air 2, so don't buy them because you'd have to return them anyway. Um, now, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, Roslyn, uh, one of our regulars, had called me, or we called each other, we talked to each other, because she was having a problem with um, something cutting out. What was it? It was adhesive uh, metallic for like a, a adhesive foil. And so we started talking on the phone about um, pressure. And she has a Explore. I believe she has an Explore. And one of the things that I wanted to point out about pressure is that if something doesn't cut on the the setting that for for whatever reason, it's not cutting on the setting that the the um, the maker is telling you what it is. I want to show you how you can sort of change that. Okay. So if you need to add a little more pressure. So in her case, there, there's a difference between adhesive foil and like the metallic the shiny and adhesive foil matte. And I wanted to show her the different. Hi, Laurie. Um, and I have to go over here to, um, to the setting screen to show you what I mean. And this is a little off topic. Um, so follow me if you can. So let's say we're at browse all materials and we're choosing material. And in her case, she was having trouble um, with cutting the difference between those two um, foil mats, uh, foil, foil shiny, foil matte. So I told her to come here to, this is the custom setting, browse all. Okay, and down here on the bottom left-hand side, I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, 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 it's there. Okay, so this bottom left-hand side, it says material settings. Okay, so when you click on that, this shows you all of the custom materials. All right, every single one of the custom materials. See that? It's a huge list. Um, and what it shows you to, is... It gives you the cut pressure, the times that it's going to cut, and the blade type that is there, okay? So in her case, teddy bear, teddy bear, um, foils, we were doing adhesive foil. So look, adhesive foil, the cut pressure is 121, which, you know, kind of doesn't mean anything unless you compare it to something else. But if you look at adhesive foil matte, it's 161, which means that it is just slightly more and it's going to cut thicker. All right. So the higher the number, the thicker that the the, the more pressure that's going to go on that blade and cut through. So as an example, what is this? Bengaline. I have no idea what it is, but it's something that requires the rotary blade and the cut pressure is 1745. Okay. I don't know. It must be a kind of fabric. Hey, there's Rosalind right now. Hi, Rosalind, did this work out for you? Um, I'm showing them this here. So let's go down to burlap. We all know what burlap is. So burlap is a very thick 
fabric kind of it's a it's a very rough kind of fabric and that cut pressure is 3163 and it says to cut with the rotary blade which for me I can do because I have a maker but in this particular case so the adhesive foil versus adhesive foil mat the cut pressure is greater so 121 to 161 so what I advised Rosalind to do was to cut on the adhesive foil mat setting. Now, um, in the case of Sarah, where she's cutting with faux leather, um, there is, let's go down to faux leather, which is what we're talking about. It's a cut setting of 183 twice with the fine point blade. Now, if Sarah personally was having a problem with this setting, she can change the pressure and she can even change the, I think she can change the blade. So you do it by clicking on this little box right here and see where you can change the pressure. So I could change it from 183 all the way up you know, that sort of thing. So maybe to play around with it, Sarah, you could try it at 190. Um, or you could also have it cut multiple times. Right now it's cutting twice, but faux leather, you could cut it three times. Maybe that will help. Um, and then also the third thing that I don't know if you can actually change. No, you can't change with this. So um, so here we go. So there's the plus and minus plus is that little dot that goes there. Okay, um, so this is your custom materials list, all right, and you can also add your own list, okay, you can add to the list, so here down the bottom, add new material, you can just type whatever that material is, I don't know, think of something, uh, you know, like, um, mm -mm, I don't know, I'm trying to think of something that I've done this for, I've actually did copy paper, yeah, I did copy paper, and I chose copy paper, and uh, I hit save and it comes up this is what my copy paper is coming up at 175 not multiple points at a fine point blade but I think copy paper doesn't need to be cut that much and so I think I might change it to like 130 and this is a this is a like trial and error thing guys okay Yes, it does, as long as you save it. So here, if I save this, I'm going to save it, right? Um, or, for instance, this is very useful if you are, you can delete it, and you can save it, or you can cancel. So this is very useful if you are kind of a mixed media person, and you want to do something that you think that Cricut hasn't thought of, and I'd I would be hard pressed to find something that Cricut hasn't thought to cut, but you never know. Um, but like, for instance, if you save the chipboard from the back of like when you um, buy uh, cardstock from from Cricut that has like a chipboard backing, I save those because I, I cut them as chipboard. But um, if you, something like that, something, it might be unique to you that you want to try on your machine. This is where you would, you know, create. But before you create something new, check out what's already there. And there's like literally, I don't know, it's got to be a couple hundred there. Okay. So that is, um, that is how you yeah, you can cut scrapbook paper. Scrapbook paper is thin. And so I would start with maybe the setting like copy paper or I don't know, letter paper, that sort of thing. Um, and you sure when I can, okay, so that's that. And sorry to go off on a little bit of tangent, but the, there are so many things uh, open to you that that you can do with this machine. You just have to know how to trick it a little bit, okay? Um, yes, okay, so washi's already in there, Sarah, and yes, you can cut washi. Um, Rosalind is reporting back after we spoke on the phone that she did go in and change the setting, and it worked. So there you go. 
okay? So let's get back to our faux leather tutorial or mystery leather stuff. So, so anyway, this faux leather comes in rolls like this. There's also some that come in sheets. This is not the genuine leather that you might find. Here, I'm going to show you. This is genuine leather that Cricut came up with. Um, now, I don't think they sell it in their shop, but I have seen it in stores still. This is really thick stuff and should only be cut. And let me just show you. This is the metallic leather rose, super thick. See that? Probably should only be cut with your um, maker. And here's a little thinner the um the cranberry okay so we're not talking this genuine leather if you have this we will we'll talk about this in the future but that's not what we're talking about we're talking about faux leather so what is faux leather well if you if you studied your french uh <laughs> in high school like i did faux means fake that's all it means. Faux is fake, and faux leather is um, is basically fake leather. When I was in the Bible selling business, and I was, um, we called this bonded leather. Um, it was basically considered like pieces of leather that were mushed together and created into like a fabric called bonded leather, and we sold gazillions of Bibles with this kind of a, of a cut of, of a setting. It's called faux leather, bonded leather, but you might know it if you have a Bible that, <laughs> from, that, that has a bonded leather cover. It's not really leather. It doesn't, doesn't smell like leather. It looks like leather and it wears nicely and um, I still have my bonded leather Bible and it looks great. So, so it's a great substitute. Now, what can you use it for? It is great for, um, earrings, which we've done. Um, it's great for making little bows, uh, for, you, you know, for little hair things. Here's a picture of the bows. Um, you can use it as a mixed media in like a card, um, or something like that. And I'm sure... There are tons of projects in Cricut um, Design Space, and I will show you those, okay? So um, here in under projects, if you typed in leather, you don't have to say faux leather, but if you typed in leather, um, most of these projects are done with faux leather. Um, this one here, I want to I wanna do with the rail leather, but I want to um, use the foil on it. I'm going to see how that goes. But um, so most of these things are with faux leather. And also remember, if you're looking to make earrings, here's some earrings. This has HTV on it. Um, here is one that I did this morning. It's called the Foil Moon Earrings. Unfortunately, I was playing around and I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. Let me show you what I came up with. Okay, so this is the earring. You notice it's it's uh, two pieces, and they each got a hole in there, and it's supposed to have foil all around. And um, I I tried. I don't know if the lighting is going to show you, but I did try it. First, what I've learned is you really have to make sure that foil is on your material um, really good. And so what I've learned from the uh, from the tape that they give you is it's nice tape. It works really well. But um, for leather, I would suggest you use something like masking tape, which is what I um, ended up using for this. And it came out much better. And the reason why I say that is that it, you can't really see because it, it kept lifting. That foil kept lifting. So um, if you are going to try the the faux leather earrings with your new foil kit, you might want to um, use something like masking tape or washi tape. Be careful of washi tape, though, because when washi tape pulls off of the faux leather, it kind of sticks like here is, it's sort of sticky and I'm not sure how to get that off. Okay, so I, f I felt like these were a total fail. Um, so then I went back to the drawing board and I was like, all right, let's, um, let's do something else. So I, 
I, um, let's see, cancel this. I want to go back to my, to my, whoop, cancel. I'm going to go back to my canvas. Okay. So what I decided to do was I decided to make my own thing, not earrings because they're kind of small and they're not really great to, um, to show on like on a live video anyway. But so I decided to make my own little square that, you know, I could probably use on the front of a card or I could put in a little frame. I could make it really, really big. Um, Gooby on. Okay. Thanks, Deborah. Um, I could make it really, really big. So how did I come up with these ideas? Where's my C? All right. There's my C. Okay. So what I did was a bookmark. Yes. Cut out a bookmark is what I did was I went to images and at the basic search level, I typed in draw, okay, just draw, and what it did was it came up with uh, over 10,000 different, and I'm sure there's more, um, like you could try drawing or dr drawn and stuff like that, and it comes up with different results, but under draw, I got over 10,000 results, and here are where I found some flowers that I really liked that were, these are definitely from Anna Griffin, but if you just keep scrolling, there's tons and tons and tons. You can do whatever you want with these images, and these are meant to be drawn, um, but What's great about it is that it can also be used for um, for the foil. It could also be used for uh, debossing. You could use it for even etching. You know, so there are a lot of different things that you can use these drawn images for. So don't just go, well, it's a drawn image, Rita. Uh, you know, it's not going to work. It will work, okay? So choose one of those. That's what I did. I chose one of those. And it brought it in here. And then what I did was I went up here to my line type. And I chose, it's at draw. And I went down to foil. And I chose foil. And in this case, I'm going to choose medium. And all of a sudden, now it's foil, Okay. All of a sudden now your computer, your, your machine is going to know this is a foil, not a drawn image. That's how you change a drawn image to whatever, to foil, to, and I'll show you how I can do it here. Deboss, that's deboss. Line type, engrave, that's engraved. Okay. So this is where you're going to do it. This is score. That's weird. Um, okay, so I'm going to choose foil medium. Now, what's it going to foil on? In this particular case, I just decided to take a shape, which was a square. And I, I made it, it's square, so it's equal size. So I made it like, I don't know, five, let's say five. And I pushed it, arranged it to the back. And then I have my little foil thing. And I could even make this bigger or smaller, whatever I want to do. And then I'm going to center it here, which, by the way, you can choose both of these and do a line center horizontally, or you can do a line center vertically, which is here. Okay, it doesn't change it too too much, but that allows you to, instead of guessing, you can align it and it's perfectly centered. Once you have it where you want it to be, you then select both of these things and we're going to go to attach, which is down here, down here. It's a um, paper clip, okay? Once you attach it, now your beautiful foil drawing or whatever foil thing is on a square and that square can be the faux leather that we're working with today so when we go to um to cut it oops all right sorry i'm just want to get rid of these things so that it shows it very very uh clearly okay so when we go to cut it Here's our, um, here's our pre pre preparation mat. It says foil, medium, and then cut. And then we go to continue, and we will choose um, the material. 
So we're going to go to Browse All Materials, and we choose Faux Leather. Now, here is a very good and important point. If you are doing foil, when you get your foil thing, your foil transfer kit, you need to use the custom setting, okay? So this is what you'll get. When you go to, let me just cancel. Okay, so if you are working with an explorer, turn your dial all the way to custom. It's like at nine o'clock, I think, if I recall correctly. Um, turn it to custom and choose your material from there. Do not try to set your dial to like, say, cardstock plus or whatever. And in this case, we'd have to go there because it's faux leather. But, but the point that I'm trying to make is that you're not going to use your dial to determine the setting. You're going to actually go to custom at nine o'clock and then you're going to get this, which is your base material. And we're going to choose faux leather in this case, but this is where you would choose your cardstock, light, heavy, medium, or your vellum, or whatever you choose, okay? And then what you get is a screen that shows you how or what you have to do to prepare to do the foil. Foil is going to happen first, and then the cutting. Now, if you have more than just foil and cutting, say, for example, you have scoring um, or even writing, it's going to be in a specific order and the and the uh, design space screen will show you what those those specific order is like so I know we did a scored um, card with foil on Thursday and um, it does a scoring first and then it did the foil I put in actually the material with the foil on it, making sure that the scoring stylus wasn't going to hit the place where I wanted um, the foil to be, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's get back. Let's get back. I'm going to cancel this. Are you all with me? Is this something that is useful to you? Because um, because it might just be one of my silly little, uh, it's useful to me, but not might not be useful to all of you. So let me know if this is useful to you. <laughs> but you can just send me like, I don't know, like a little ha a thumbs up or hearts or whatever, because that's really important for me to do stuff that you guys are going to want to use and, and not be some really wicked, ex ex uh, obscure thing. Um, so let me know, okay? So let's do this blue faux leather because I have the blue and um, I cut out the blue and I'm going to use the silver on there. It's not a completed project, but I think it's going to show you how it works and how it cuts out. So I want to show you this, okay? So um, I have this set as a four inch square and I found this image using that draw feature. And um, let's see, whoops, and okay, hold on. And I attached it once I, once I created into a foil image. Let me detach so you can see what I meant. So this came in as a drawn image, you see? And then I went down here and I chose foil medium. I also want to do silver. So I went up here next to the line type and I chose silver because I wanted to see what the silver would look like on the blue faux leather. Okay. So here it looks, I think it's going to look really nice. I'm going to select these both. I'm going to attach it. Now I'm going to go and make it. Again, here's my uh, preparation page. It says foil medium and cut. It's up in the top left-hand corner. And you notice that the foil is sort of, uh, it's not quite at the exact tippy top, so I need to keep that in mind, all right? So I'm gonna hit custom, or uh, I'm gonna hit the material thing. I'm gonna choose browse all materials. I'm gonna choose faux leather, if it lets me. I don't want to favorite it. I just want to choose it. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to get my mat prepped for using the foil transfer. 
all right? I'm gonna move you just so you can see what I'm doing um, on my work surface. I'm gonna move all this stuff. Okay, so these were my examples. All right, so here is my faux leather. I did use a brand new mat for this because all my other mats, they're not clean. This is how I end up with a ton of mats, but they're not clean. And I really wanted the uh, faux leather to stick. And it really needs, uh, this is the strong grip mat, the purple mat. So I got a brand new purple mat and stick it on there. Okay. Then I take my piece of foil and we want to make sure the foil is on the material and not on the mat. If it got stuck on the mat, it will lift and it will be ugly on your mat, especially my brand new mat. So now we need to adhere it, but I've been playing around with this and I used up all my tape. So I want to show you what I did if this happens to you because I was playing and playing and I used up all my little pieces of tape, but it does come with tape. So I'm going to use just plain old masking tape. Now, one thing that I've learned from playing around is that this right side needs to be extra secure because of the way the mat moves around. Okay, so I started with the top and I put that masking tape there it can't exceed the um, side here okay but then I made sure it was really flat right and sort of almost taut okay and then I'm going to just frame that whole thing with masking tape and maybe I'm doing a little over much, but I kind of want to just show you, even if you do have the regular tape, you really need to make it as taut as possible because I think that's what happened to my moon earrings is that it lifted and it didn't come out very well at all. So in addition to the fact that my, my um, faux leather wasn't on a really sticky mat and, um, and my foil wasn't really nice and flat. Now there'll be a little bit because it is very thin and flimsy kind of a feeling that that will happen but as tautly as you can especially on this right side okay so now here is my faux transfer kit I'm going to use I'm going to show you this see that two little circles on the end that stands for medium this one here that's in here has wait Sorry, this is the one circle. I'm not even looking because it's that through my camera. This is the two circles. That's medium. So medium goes in like this. Plunger out, plunger in. It goes like this. We're going to want to um, take out our blade housing and put this in when we put in our mat. So I'm going to move you. All right. What? Sorry. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Wait, let me go this way. Uh, okay, so my, <laughs> my, uh, my thing is sort of loppity, floppity, loppity here, but um, I hope that it still shows. Okay, so I got my mat ready, and I'm going to put it in to the machine. Here's my medium foil. I'm taking this out. Put in my medium foil. And I just hit the flashing C button. And it will start to do the foil. And I hope it kind of shows you um, how it sort of like pulls it from the right hand side. Because that's been my experience. And by the way... Um, there is a little bit, if if perhaps you're using the tape and there's a little bit of a overlay, like where the foil is happening, that's okay. Um, that's okay. But you do need to make sure that the foil is exactly on the mat 
and on your material exactly where it's going to foil. If there's no foil, the foil um, housing will will push down on there, but no foil will get embedded into your product, into your material, if that makes sense. And it's going and doing our beautiful rose in silver. And just to point out, it's up, it's facing up. The silver is facing up. So the shiny side in this case is up. And um, also will tell you that I have heard reports that this is out of stock, but that um, it should be back in stock at the beginning of October on Cricut.com. It will also be in stock, I guess, on HSN next week with Anna Griffin doing the demonstration. Um, and let's see what else is there to know. Um, people have requested special colors. Well, I know that the rose gold is going to be available when Anna does her um, presentation. And then after that, it will be available in the Cricut shop. Um, people have requested red and black and I'm trying to think what else. I'm not sure if white got got put in there but pink these colors are if they're not already available which they aren't um, they should be coming with them because it's just a matter of them using um, you know just selecting that as a material so so they've heard your request and they said that they are working on more colors also i did put in a plug for the joy um, but i don't know where that is you know what where that's going Okay, so now the um, foil is done. We're going to lift the tape and you note that the mat comes out almost all the way. Do not take your mat out, okay? And what I'm doing is I am removing, oh, okay, I'm removing my foil. And this is a little bit like what I thought, which is part of it might be, uh, the actual leather, um, but I note on the left-hand side, it's not super bold, but that's okay. So we're gonna cut this out. This, by the way, is what my foil looks like. And it was on this right-hand side, and so maybe it is the tape. Hmm, interesting. Might have to try this again as well. Okay, let's see. And that's the problem with lives, you know, is that sometimes you can't present the most perfect thing, but that's okay. Um, that's okay. So you guys are really quiet today, or at least it seems that way. So I'm hoping that this is useful to you. Um, and that's that. Okay, so here it is cut out. And maybe actually, I, maybe I don't even have you on the part where maybe... No, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if you can comment or what, but um, but anyway, so here we go. Here is our piece. Let me just take it off of my mat. And here you go. I think the silver looks fabulous with the blue. Nice. Um, and wait a second. Maybe... Oh, I don't know. It's very possible that I did something and pressed a button here, and I apologize if you're trying to comment. I'm just not seeing the comments. Um, but anyway, so here we go. So here's what I meant. Like, it's not nearly as bold there, but look at how it looks there. So pretty. And why couldn't you make it even bigger and frame it or put it as part of a card, okay? Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to move you over back here again. So again, this is faux leather, um, and it can be cut in the Joy. It can be cut in the Maker and also the Explore. It's available in 10 colors. I know that there are some other uh, manufacturers out there. The machine isn't set up to work with other manufacturers, but you can certainly use other manufacturers. You may need to change um, something because uh, the faux leather from Cricut is very thin, and this is the um, 
this is what we've got. Um, so this is the blue. It's available in all these other colors. It can be foiled. It can be ironed on. It can be, um, you can use vinyl, but I would probably choose just either foil or iron on. You can make it into uh, the let's see, earrings, bows, whatever you want to make it into. I've seen some great projects over here. Let's just get over here. Eh, eh, eh. My screen's kind of not doing. All right, let's go to canvas. All right, yep, I'm going to cancel the cut. Okay, so definitely check out projects, type in leather, and you can find a lot of great uses for that roll of faux leather you might have hanging around. Look at a leather coffee sleeve, a faux leather wallet that has iron on on it, um, and just a number, look at a, a earphone wrap and coasters and what have you. Look at this tassel keychain. There's a lot of projects if you go to project or just use your imagination, okay? So um, that is it for today for our Mystery Material Monday. I have a feeling like I touched something wrong <laughs> on my screen, and I, I apologize for that. But um, thank you for coming today. We're going to see you again tomorrow, um, and, and we're going to be doing... I think we're doing a Thanksgiving card tomorrow. So come and do a Thanksgiving card with me tomorrow at 9 o'clock here on Facebook and the Miss Rita to the Rescue Facebook page. If you're watching this on the replay, thank you. If you're not already a subscriber to my YouTube channel, would you um, subscribe? I'm trying to reach a goal for the end of the year. I'm at like 8,300 followers and I'm trying to hit 10,000. And um, so sharing and telling your friends is really important. So thank you so much. And we'll see you all again tomorrow. Thanks.